This video is intended to provide introductory information on this topic to the general public. It is not intended as a substitute for professional medical advice. Always rely only on your own doctor in matters related to your health. Overactive thyroid is a commonly used term that means the same thing as high thyroid. The medical name for this thyroid problem is hyperthyroidism. What causes overactive thyroid? The thyroid gland produces thyroid hormones, which control respiration, digestion, and a number of other important functions in the human body. But sometimes the thyroid overproduces these hormones. This is what causes overactive thyroid. There are several different types of overactive thyroid. They include the following. Graves disease results from abnormal stimulation of the thyroid gland, which can result in a goiter. Goiter is a non-cancerous enlargement of the thyroid gland, which is often large enough to appear as a swelling in the front of the neck. There is also a related form of Graves disease that affects the eyes, causing a puffiness that some people describe as bulging eyes. This form of hyperthyroidism can eventually result in severe eye pain or eye muscle weakness. It may also affect the shins and the tops of the feet by causing raised, thickened skin in those areas. Thyroiditis is an inflammation of the thyroid, causing the gland to release higher than usual amounts of hormones. In certain circumstances, the thyroid will become damaged, leading to low hormone production or hypothyroidism. Pituitary adenoma is a tumor of the pituitary gland, which leads to overstimulation of the thyroid. Drug-induced hyperthyroidism sometimes occurs when a patient is taking certain heart medications. Toxic multinodular goiter is an irregularity that occurs when part of the thyroid gland produces thyroid hormones all by itself. This condition differs from Graves' disease because there are often no eye complications and there are also fewer signs of high thyroid activity. Overactive thyroid signs. Overactive thyroid signs and symptoms vary somewhat depending on age. Typical overactive thyroid signs and symptoms among adults include puffiness around the eyes, which appear to be getting bigger, difficulty concentrating and a slippage of intellectual activity, excessive sweating, feeling excessively hot in normal or cold temperatures, frequent bowel movements, hand tremors, insomnia, joint pains, losing weight despite normal or even increased appetite, a woman's menstrual period becomes scant or ceases altogether, nervousness and excitability. Overactive thyroid signs and symptoms in children are similar to symptoms shown by adults, but are particularly characterized by a decline in school performance and behavioral problems. The elderly are likely to have any or all of these signs and symptoms of overactive thyroid. Those who have heart disease will also experience increased angina or chest pain and shortness of breath, along with muscle weakness, especially in the shoulders and thighs. Treating overactive thyroid. A number of medications are commonly used for treating overactive thyroid, including Beta blockers, which inhibit the body's responses to hyperthyroidism. Iodide, also known as Lugol's solution, or strong iodine. Iodide reduces the amount of thyroid hormone that's released from the over-functioning thyroid gland. Surgery is another option for treating overactive thyroid. It involves removing much of the thyroid tissue, but leaving enough in place to continue thyroid hormone production. Treating overactive thyroid with surgery is considered to be effective and relatively safe when done by an experienced surgeon. There are, however, some risks, including damage to nerves that control the vocal cords, damage to the parathyroid glands, which lie just behind the thyroid gland, and bleeding causing breathing problems. Overactive thyroid may also occur if the new thyroid cannot produce enough hormones. Here are some popular resources you can check out to learn more about this topic. Just click on the links below this video to get more information about them.